All right, guys, so I'm here at another inspection, and I want to show you something pretty cool. Now, this is going to be another bubbles coming out of the return, but with a cool little visual. Check this out. All right, so we see bubbles coming out of the return right there. Now, normally when this happens, let's say about 90% of the time when we see this, when bubbles are coming out of the return, it's normally something on the suction side. So let's head on over to the suction side, and we'll take a look at it. So this is the suction side. As we can see, we have the skimmer right here, main drain, and then cleaner. The cleaner is off. Now normally what happens is air is getting into the system from the suction side, either through the plumbing or the valves right here. So we follow this down, and that goes right into our pump pot. Also, the pump pot lid and O-ring can be worn. Now if either of these are worn, it can allow air to get into the system. Now, as you see right here, we can see some air bubbles in the pump pot. We don't want that. We want solid water. One little air pocket up there, that's okay, but we don't want to see this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pump motor off. I want you to keep your eye on this area right in here. Check this out. This is pretty cool. There it is. Check that out. Look at that. You can see that the union is leaking just a little bit. Now this area right in here is prone for wearing. We have spin collar union right there. A lot of times these will have O-rings that will get worn out. As we can see, this is a fairly new system. If we come over here, we can check out the pump motor. I'd say this has been installed less than a year ago. And that's where it was dripping. Now if you have bubbles coming out of your returns like that, we wanna check the suction side. Now when I talk about the suction side, we're talking about the pump pot, all the way over. The pump pot lid and the o-ring, all the unions, the valves, and all these unions like this right here. Once you take care of that, the bubbles should stop. With a little bit of troubleshooting, you can fix bubbles coming out of your returns.